Hello friends, welcome to Civil Engineering Exam. Today we are going to see the problem related with moment of inertia. So the problem is determine the moment of inertia of unequal I section about the centroid axis as shown in figure. So this is the I section. So in the top portion having different section and bottom portion also having different section. So the difference unequal I section. So in top portion uh, we can take this as one. So first section and uh, middle is two and this is three. So in top portion in I section, so the width is uh, B is 200 and thickness D is uh, 10 mm. So then uh, in the middle portion it having the 300 mm height and uh, uh, so that is uh, depth and uh, width is 10 mm and in bottom portion is uh, 300 mm B and the depth is 10 mm. So from this table we can find out the centroid. So first one is uh, the member 1, 2, 3 that is components. So the second one is area uh, then uh, L into B then uh, this Y then AY area into Y then AY square. So then now uh, we find out AX bar and then find out IX and IY. Okay. So using the formula B D cube divided by 12 and D B cube divided by 12 okay so now the area so the first area is uh, 200 mm into 10 mm so that is uh, with this 200 and uh, depth is uh, 10 mm so totally we having a 2000 okay in second portion we having the uh, depth of uh, 300 mm and width of 10 mm so 300 into 10 okay likewise in third portion 300 into 10 okay so then y value so from this uh, 1 to 1 section so from this section we can find out uh, so in the top portion we have 10 mm plus 300 mm plus so 10 mm plus 300 mm plus 10 by 2 okay we have solving this we got the uh, 315 okay likewise in second portion so 10 mm plus 300 divided by 2 so then third portion 10 by 2 okay so these are all the answers 315 and 160 and 5 okay so now we can find out the a into y so that is area into y so uh, 2000 into 315 so we having the value of 6.3 into 10 power 5 then uh, 3000 into 160 we have the value of 4.8 into 10 power 5 then 3000 into 5 we got the value of 0.15 into 10 power 5 okay next thing is we can find out the a y square so that is uh, area into y square that is uh, 2000 into 315 square okay we got the value of 1.98 into 10 power 8 so likewise we can find out the second and the third component also okay so next thing is uh, ix so ix is uh, the formula will be b d cube divided by 12 okay so this is a formula we can use here so in first section b value is 200 and d value is 10 so b d cube divided by 12 so we got the value of 16666.67 okay likewise we found out uh, both the cases then i y so the formula will be uh, b cube d divided by 12 okay so from that we can find out the value of so 10 into 200 cube divided by 12 so we, we found out the answers okay so next thing is uh, from the table we can uh, add all those things so here the sum of area and here the sum of ay then uh, sum of ay square then sum of ix and sum of iy so next thing is uh, y bar value y bar summation of ay divided by summation of area so summation of ay is 11 point uh, 11.25 into 10 power 5 divided by 8000 we got the y bar value is 140.625 mm okay so after that we can find out the i11 value so the section i11 is over here so section 11 is over here so so i11 equal to ix plus ay square or equal to i summation of ix plus summation of ay okay so from that we can find out the value of 2975416667 mm power 4 so then ix uh, we found out i11 minus ay square so uh, we know the both the value i11 value we know and uh, ay square value we know so from that we can find out the ix bar value ix bar is 139338 541.67 mm power 4 then iy bar value we already found out from the table so that is 291916.7 mm power 4 okay so this is a method we can solve the problem again we will see next video thank you